hi what's up welcome back to my channel it's me again welcome to another video my name is sam if you happen to be new thank you so much for being here so today i just kind of wanted to sit down with you guys and show y'all some updates on some of the plants that you guys would have seen me unbox over the last few months and the majority of those are going to be anthuriums and equigenera usa orders so most of them almost all of them actually uh i have done an unboxing for on this channel as i said over the last few months so i just kind of want to give you all a little update on how all of those plants are doing there are a couple that's not anthuriums that also ordered from equigenera and then there's actually a couple of extra plants bonus plants that i'm going to show you at the end that i also have just gotten over the last couple months with that being said if y'all are interested in seeing some amazing new leaves on these beautiful anthuriums some kind of sad updates as well because we do have a couple of those and just kind of getting a gauge on what the acclimation process can look like on plants whenever you order them in the mail this might be the video for you so if this sounds like your jam stick around hang tight and let's jump right on in to this video i'm not actually sure which plants um i unboxed like in what order but i do think I'm pretty sure that this was my first equigenera purchase and unboxing with you guys so and i ordered two plants so this one and an anthurium right here this is actually a plant that i did not know i was not aware that i would love it as much as i do and this is a uh, philodendron linnae pretty sure that's how you say it and um i just honestly the only reason i got this was because i was getting a different plant i was getting the anthurium that we're gonna look at next and this was really cheap i think it was like 25 30 dollars something like that like it's a philodendron why not let's just throw it on there wasn't super familiar with this plant i'm not like insanely in love with this type of leaf on a philodendron but i have to say you guys i love it i'm really loving it it acclimated immediately didn't take any time to start growing it gave me this leaf which one of my kids actually ripped it off because i had it setting out somewhere where it shouldn't have been totally my fault but yeah actually you know what i think it gave me this leaf this was the first leaf it put off in my care yeah because it's working on at least the third new leaf so this was the first one i was really impressed with the size based on the older leaves it's a really good size so i thought that was pretty cool and then yeah it put this one off just a couple of weeks ago you can see it uh, hasn't quite hardened off yet, so it's really a shame that this happened, but it is what it is. Shit happens sometimes, so I'm not too upset about it. And if we look right here, it's currently unfurling this new leaf here. Philodendron Linnae, the leaves are so shiny and glossy. It's just, it's really nice. It's a nice looking philodendron. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at this purchase. It was insanely affordable and it's beautiful. Um, it has not disappointed me. So first up, Philodendron Linnae. The reason I placed that order was because of this plant. <laughs> I know it doesn't look like much, but this was huge and it was gorgeous. And this massive, beautiful Anthurium Regal, which has been on my wish list for a very long time. I think the first time I seen it was on Heart Shape Leaf's channel and I immediately fell in love. This was huge, it had beautiful leaves, but the only thing that I will say about Equigenera plants, which you will see as we get further into this video, is that uh, sometimes they arrive and they're big and they're beautiful like breathtaking but sometimes the roots are not in great shape or another issue I've had is the roots will be fine whenever they arrive and they'll kind of decline over that next week week to two weeks in my home as they're acclimating the roots will kind of rot away and they were shipping in these weird clear plastic um, I don't know what you call it plastic stuff that kind of suffocates the roots i've said that a few times on this channel uh, since then they have stopped using that um i think anyway my last few orders didn't have that they were actually in legit pots uh, i noticed those big gorgeous leaves started to yellow and crisp and die and i was like okay we have an issue let me check the roots i pulled them out and sure enough all of the roots were mush they were gone they were dead it was over so pretty much i I think I had this in moss for a little while and it wasn't really doing a whole lot so I went ahead and switched it over to this really airy chunky soil mix that you see right here and I'm not sure why I did that maybe 
I don't think it has any roots. I'm pretty sure I lost all of them, but I, I can't remember. Maybe there was a couple healthy roots. I honestly can't remember. Regardless, it's been an F probably about two months now since that happened. I put it in here and I put it in my grow box, my little humidity box in my grow tent. Just actually noticed a couple of days ago that this little nub here was beginning to push out a new leaf. Do you all see that? I do good with anthuriums, but if I screw up and rot their roots and end up losing all of the foliage, that's when I'm gonna have a struggle on my hands. With philodendrons, no problem. I can root them up and get them growing again typically, but it's just something I've noticed with anthuriums. Sometimes it's like a 50-50 chance of the plant growing back for me after I've lost the roots and the foliage with anthuriums. So um, I was really upset about this, y'all. I was just, I was devastated, I'm not gonna lie, because I knew that, I knew that that was an issue with me and that I may not be able to get this plant uh, rehabbed and to grow back for me. So just seeing that there is a new leaf coming in, um, and this wasn't here, it's definitely a new leaf because it was not here. It has grown and now there's actually the little leaf coming out there so I'm confident that that's what's happening and that, that leaf will push out I'm gonna leave it in the grow box um, and I'll definitely be updating y'all whenever the new leaf does come in I'm gonna be really really stoked to see what that's gonna look like and I'm also gonna be nervous because I don't want to screw it up again because this is just like a dream plant for me if anyone was wondering what uh, ever came to be with that plant after I unboxed it yeah very sad and honestly I didn't want to tell anybody I didn't want to share it on my Instagram on my YouTube anywhere because I was just so devastated and lo and behold he's growing back so hopefully he continues to do well okay so this is a plant that I actually did not unbox with y'all but I think I did show it to you uh, maybe in a vlog or something a chore vlog I'm not really sure yeah I, I shared it with you and I chopped it up so I went ahead and placed another order I'm pretty sure this is my second order with Echo Genera for the philodendron tenu it's actually a philodendron tenu type I have a little baby tenu that I'll pop on the screen and show you guys uh, but uh, I seen that they had the tenu type and it was on sale for really really cheap It was like 40 bucks or something. It was um, a really good deal for the size the reviews were good and I was just really intrigued with the tenu type because of the super long leaf shape uh, Because your standard tenu doesn't have a long elongated leaf. It has more of a heart-shaped leaf So I seen this and I was like wow on my second purchase. I got this it shipped it arrived. It was gorgeous it had several really large long beautiful leaves but unfortunately it had root rot right then and there so I immediately checked the roots on it this time took it out of the plastic and all of the roots were rotted I was just kind of like really frustrated so I immediately put it in moss but there was not really anything I could do to stop it all of the leaves yellowed and I had to remove them this is the last last standing leaf here but it did have this growth point of small leaves that remained so that's when I decided to go ahead and chop it down because it was really leggy where it lost all of its previous leaves chopped it down and put the smaller cutting into moss this one is also in moss so now we have two tenues that both look pretty raggedy to be honest um, but it's fine this tenu did put off a new leaf it just unfurled this little dinky thing here <laughs> And there's the next growth point so hopefully it's rooting there's not too much to show really with this one because it's just this no new growth points on this guy yet don't know if he's rooting but I hope he is and yeah that's all I ha really have to say on this guy I wish I would have filmed the unboxing for this but I didn't okay this is where it gets kind of muggy in my brain because I'm not sure what I got next but I think maybe I think this was like I did like an extra long unboxing over the course of a couple weeks and I had because I had placed a couple of different orders with Equigenera and I got a few different anthurium so this one is actually a positive update this is an exciting update I'm pretty sure this was next and this is the anthurium Vici which I have also wanted for a very long time I ordered a Vici seedling last year I actually just sold that I mailed it out yesterday um, I just sold it because I'm over it. It puts off a new leaf every few months, but every time it puts off a new leaf, it lost one. So I really couldn't keep more than like two leaves on that plant at a time. And the leaves were getting smaller. Instead of coming in and maturing, the leaves were actually getting smaller and smaller. So I was over it. I wanted a more mature one. Vici, Vici type. 
y'all remember this was like the leaf when I unboxed it that just blew my mind I was like obsessed with that ribbing and just how long it is it's absolutely gorgeous I do have some minor imperfections well just one really on this largest leaf because it's the largest of course I ended up catching it on something and ripping it and I think I just ripped it a little bit more as I was pulling another plant over top of it or like behind it so that's great this was his biggest leaf and um, this is an older leaf I'm sure you can tell that this gorgeous thing here is the newest leaf still has a little bit of that reddish coloration and it's very very glossy and shiny and it obviously has not hardened off yet so yeah this was the new leaf I'm not a hundred percent sure if it's done growing just yet it's been slowly progressing and gradually getting bigger and bigger so I kind of think maybe it's done growing maybe this is as big as it's gonna get but again I'm not a hundred percent sure I'll be excited to see how big this leaf gets or if it's done if it's gonna go ahead and harden off and um, stay this size and then see what the next new leaf comes in as the fact that it did travel in the mail it was in the mail for several days um, this is pretty impressive to me the size of this and just how beautiful and perfect it is is pretty impressive just cannot get over the elongated ribbed leaf I just think it's the most beautiful thing ever and getting to see this new leaf just kind of come in and mature in person so beautiful I don't know I just I love it definitely one of my favorite Ethereum Let me just go ahead and turn him around and show y'all some of his other older leaves here these were all on him when he arrived and then this one he's incredible so next it was like a week or so later i got another package from equigenerics i ordered two within like a two week span i think there was two plants in that package this beautiful boy is anthurium waterberryanum I know that I'm probably butchering the names of all of these y'all, but it's fine. I don't really care. You know what I mean. Yeah, so this is a insane anthurium because the texture on this is just really, really, really sweetie. Sweetie. It's kind of the word that comes to mind whenever I see this on anthurium. Um, it's less velvet and more suede, so it's just sweetie. It took my breath away because the shimmer and the sheen, which does not really show on camera like it does in person the camera just really doesn't do this plant justice because it is just so shimmery and beautiful and sleek and it's just it's gorgeous on a couple of the older leaves we do have some yellowing happening around the leaves I did end up getting spider mites in my grow tent and I just kind of treated all the plants in there I'm not sure if this one had mites or not but it did get treated just in case we're not taking no chances but right here we have a brand new leaf it is perfect it had already unfurled this leaf whenever i unboxed it which was just incredible to me because it was perfect it was like this big absolutely perfect the cutest little leaf and yeah so i guess this is a little update on that leaf it did come in absolutely fine uh, there's really no imperfections or flaws it looks beautiful and it is practically the same size if not maybe just a wee larger than all of the previous leaves so that's really exciting but not only that you guys we have a lot more action going on here at the base of the plant in the pot so i <laughs> i'm not sure you can see i'll probably insert some close-ups right here and i just noticed this when i pulled it out to show you guys there's a new leaf right there getting ready to unfurl they come in itty bitty and they gradually grow larger um, so there's a new leaf, but there's also something going on right here in the middle. Do you got, do y'all see that? So I kind of think, I don't know. I'm not sure because the leaves come off the base. So I'm not sure if that's going to be a second new leaf, like two leaves coming in at one time, or if that's going to be an inflorescence. It could be a flower or it could be a second new leaf, but it's definitely something and that's so exciting it looks like a new leaf just being 100 percent, yeah it looks like there's two new leaves coming in but i don't want to jinx it so i'm just gonna kind of chill and wait and watch and see what happens but i'm so proud of this plant so happy to have this anthurium waterberryanum 
I had the plant I was definitely the most excited about. This is the most excited I've ever been, I think, about an Ethereum, except for maybe the Regal. I think I was more excited about this one. I'm, I can't even like front. That's one thing that I tend to do whenever I pull out like my favorite plants, the most special plants to me, to show y'all in a video, they end up getting jacked up. Oh, see, I'm gonna do it now because I won't be paying attention. I'll end up injuring a leaf just by pulling it out and like trying to film it because I'm just not paying attention because I'm severely, severely ADHD. Anyways. Okay, so I'm gonna put up a clip here of me unboxing this. I was just over the moon, absolutely over the moon. And I still feel the same way. I've been watching this baby like a hawk. Uh, and I'm just so thrilled with its progress. So it had this leaf and then it also had another leaf that was around the same size as this. It was a little bit shorter than this, but it was the next to longest leaf. And that got snapped off because I set this, it was in a nursery pot, it was way top heavy, and I set it on my dresser uh, right after I got it and it got knocked off. I knocked it off. Actually, I think it just toppled over. I don't think anyone touched it. It just toppled over and fell off and it broke that stem. So I lost that leaf and I could have cried. So I've actually not pulled it out of my grow tent since I put it in because of that. So I'm very nervous just like having it here in front of the camera as I speak. But okay, I'm going to be very careful. It also had this leaf here and this was cut whenever I received it. It was already like that, still gorgeous. This is also super, super suede -y. It It feels really nice. It's just my love. And it also had this little dinky guy here. Oh, I'm just kind of chilling, this little itty bitty guy. And guys, it has given me a new leaf. I don't know, a week and a half, two weeks ago, I noticed it was pushing out. It's very first new leaf in my care and I've had this guy what maybe a month now at this point so there was really no acclimation period for him either he just immediately took off he didn't lose any leaves other than the one that I broke off like that was completely and totally my fault otherwise no none of the leaves turned chlorotic or crisped up nothing I mean it's just perfect it's just so exciting I wish I would have kind of documented the process of I did on my Instagram a little bit but of this leaf coming in because it came in just like all other Ethereum leaves it was just itty bitty the tiniest thing and it's just gradually every day getting bigger and bigger um, it's actually growing pretty fast so already it has passed up the smallest leaf on the plant so that's definitely a good sign and it may even be longer than this one at this point um, I think it is. Right now we're in between in between the second longest leaf and the longest leaf. So we'll see how long it gets. I'm just so excited every day when I check on it. Um, it's just so exciting to me to see how much larger it's gotten. And I'm just super curious whether or not it's going to get as large as this, this leaf here or if it's going to bypass this leaf here. It's just really exciting, y'all. This is such a fun plant. It's a pendant anthurium. It's my very first ever pendant anthurium. And I have to be honest with y'all, I was really, really nervous to even try a pendant anthurium. I don't know why, but I, I was. I've had my eyes on them for quite a while. Thought they were seriously just marvelous plants. I was really intrigued by them, but like I said, I was just, I was scared because I was like sure that this would be a finicky plant. But so far, granted, I haven't had it too long. Um, so far it's been really just a joy and super easy going. I really love the white stripe that goes all the way down. Oh, and then that texture and that suede leaf, it's amazing. So this leaf will eventually go downwards like this, which I also really, really love. Anthurium palitiflora. Can't say enough good things about this plant. I really can't. It's mm, very special and near and dear to my heart. I do have another kind of sad one. I mean, this is a really cool anthurium, y'all. This is a really neato plant, and I'm not doing anything. This is nothing that I have done. Um, it's just strictly from shipping. It looked okay when I got it, but it just it had that look. Like you could just kind of tell when I took it out of the box. Uh, I cleaned all the moss off of it because it was in like, I'll, I'll put the unboxing. Actually, you know what? Let me put the unboxing in right here. There's little clips of it anyway, so y'all can see what it looked like when I unboxed it. And then 
I'll tell you what happened. It was beautiful. It had two leaves. It looked okay for, I guess, about a week, not quite a week, maybe like five days. It was okay. And then the leaves, they were, they just started making their way out. Like I said, there was only two. Both of them did this at the same time. This, <laughs> I just haven't removed this one yet, but I'm literally going to before I put it back in the tent. I was really hoping that it would keep at least one of its leaves because like I said, I struggle with anthuriums once they lose all their foliage. Um, but this is, I didn't even tell you what this is. This is Anthurium Davilis, and it's a really interesting Anthurium, and it's one that I would consider rare. Um, I don't know if that's correct or not, but to me, it was definitely rare. I've never heard about it, even on YouTube. Like, I did a lot of research and stuff before I placed my order, and I was able to find, like, care tips and information about the plant on Google, but I could only find one video that had anything to do with Anthurium debilis. And it was an unboxing of like 50 plants. It was like an import from somebody that somebody did of like 50 plants. And there was like maybe like three and a half seconds where he held it up to the camera and said what it was and then set it down and continued unboxing. That's all I could find on the Anthurium debilis. But it is very cool. I seen that it came in stock and it was on sale and um, I got it. And here we are. It's living in my humidity box. I still have it in the plastic little thing because this one isn't as tight and snug on the roots as the previous ones were, but they did send this one in this. See, it has a drainage hole and um, it has large chunks of perlite and sphagnum moss. I really need to get in there and check out the roots, but they were good. They were fine. And now so this is what I mean. I just, I can't leave it in this container. It was completely dry before I watered it too. I don't know what it is about this plastic, but it's like, is it not just like a clear pot? It's not super tight. It has tons of perlite and moss and I just pulled on a root and it's, it's rotted. So after this video, I'm pulling it out and I don't know what I'm doing with it. This is just the one frustrating thing that I don't understand about Equigenera. Like why do the roots come and then immediately rot away? I don't get it. So I'm gonna cut, remove this leaf. I'm gonna pull it out of here, remove any of the dead roots and go from there, I guess. But I just, I really hope that it pulls through because from what I read, I read kind of conflicting things. Like one site said that it was a really easy going house plant and um, a pretty good grower. And then another site said that it was a little bit more finicky and it was really really slow grower so like it only puts out a leaf every two to three months the other one was like no nah, it puts out leaves back to back to back so it was really conflicting it was difficult for me to find an accurate detailed care guide i guess i just i didn't know which one to go with so we'll see i'm going to treat this like i do all of my other anthuriums that i have rotted the roots on and lost all the foliage on and just hope for the best we'll do updates in the future but this is an incredible plant it's so beautiful it comes in really deep purple burgundy red it's just so beautiful it's really really cool and it reminds me a lot of the lug anthurium luxuriance i think that's why i'm so drawn to it it has the heart-shaped leaf and then it just has really cool like rippling it's got the ripple and the texture on the leaf it's just so amazing so i really hope i can get it sorted out and get it back to health if not i'm gonna buy another one because I want this plant. And that's all of the Equigenera plants, I think. I'm not 100% positive. I was gonna show you like this is, um, no, we'll just do an aeroid market update, I guess, because I was gonna show you some of those plants. But anyways, yeah, that's it. That's all I'm gonna be showing y'all in this video. We've been going for a long time. So we can do, we'll probably do an aeroid market um, update because those are actual imported plants. And I would really like to show you an update on them. That's it. Uh, thank y'all so much for watching. I'm gonna go. Y'all are the best. Feel free and chat with me down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts, opinions on any or all of these plants. I'll be sure and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It really helps me out, you guys. My channel's been kind of bombing lately and I have not been consistent at all because I have three kids, a husband, and a lot of responsibility. So I'm doing the best I can. I just appreciate y'all being patient with me, sticking it out. It means a lot. So again, thank you all. And I'll see you guys again really soon in my next upcoming video. Uh, I love you guys a lot. Bye, guys.